Warriors, we are live from the quarantine and uh, we have our Thursday strength workout today. Uh, super excited to do that with you. Um, we have a bunch of, uh, we're going to be doing some um, plank rows, pistol squats, split squats, uh, bent rear delt flies, some goblet squats, mountain climbers, um, front raises, uh, reverse crunches, oh my, it is going to be a burner. So if you do have a variety of weights, that would be fantastic. There might be a couple of these exercises that we do where we just do body weight, um, especially with the um, lat raise and the front raise if you do not have a weight that is light enough for that. Anyway, we're going to get after it here in a second. Um, just was going to briefly talk about um, our book club and um, I as always um, with whenever we have a book club for training for warriors um, rarely finish the book in time for the meeting but that's okay I get about halfway done and um, I've been really enjoying uh, doing the audiobooks lately and the last book that we read was culture club and I really couldn't highly more highly recommend this book um, especially for people who work with human beings at all, <laughs> and um, it's it's a it's a really really excellent book on um, talking about how um, how we uh, bring our vulnerability, our egos, um, our listening skills, um, all of that to the table when we're working with other other individuals, and why some organizations are super super successful um, in their communications and in their advancements uh, with each other, and why some um, aren't. And um, it is it is just it's really really well written. I really rec I um, really highly um, respond to stories, and there's quite a few stories as examples in there um, that are varied, very very varied, um, and. Um, I really, really appreciated it. Um, I, I've been also trying to get outside and walk more, so listening to the um, audiobooks while I'm walking just helps clear out the cobwebs of the day, um, especially sitting at the computer all day, uh, you know, staring at a screen working. And um, uh, uh, um, almost at the same time, I was listening to a podcast by Luca Hosevar, who owns um, a, a Vigor Ground up in Seattle. And um, he uh, was um, uh, saying something very similar to what I had just listened to in this book, and I love the quote that he gave. Luca said, um, I'd rather be wrong and get better than be right and stay the same. And um, I could not agree with that statement more. Um, I know it's, it's a hard statement sometimes for us to accept that uh, maybe sometimes in group environments that we, that we are not right. Um, or that we need to change our mindsets and we need to reevaluate how we think about things or how we view things. So that's always a tough pill to swallow is that we're actually wrong. Um, but uh, when we do accept that sometimes we are able to grow and we're able to progress um, and get better. And, um, and I, I just love that idea of vulnerability, especially in a group environment. Um, and uh, it just leads to growth. So anyway, uh, we got some mental growth going on there, and then we're going to get some um, muscle gains going on right now. So grab your water bottle. All right, warriors, let's go ahead and start with our Cossack stretch. So I'm going to have my leg directly out from my hip. I'm going to rotate. I'm just going to rock forward and back, forward and back about 10 times. So I'm trying hard to get that butt to touch that heel as I rock forward and back on my over my um, wrists, getting a nice little wrist flexion going on there, get a nice ankle flexion going on. When I've done that 10 times, I'm gonna go ahead and raise and lower that leg. So I'm trying to keep that hip down. I'm trying to really feel this in my glute, the outside of my thigh. I'm not going real high with it. Five, nice. Switch it out to the other side, bringing that leg out forward and back, forward and back, 10 times, five, six, ah, feeling that nice stretch in our groin, but being real gentle with it, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. All right, now I'm going to do that leg lift. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, 
yeah, I'm really feeling that. So now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sit back on my heels. I'm gonna bring my right hand forward. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, my, my left hand is gonna be pushing me back under the, those heels. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna reach through that extended arm. I'm gonna hold it there for a second, trying to get that shoulder to touch the ground or get close to it. And then I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna come back in, reaching through. I'm gonna rotate out. Let's do five times on the right. Then we'll go five times on the left. Three. Whew. Remembering to push back on those heels. Taking our time with this. Following the elbow with our eyes. Now I'm gonna take it the other way. So reaching through. Whoo. Yep, my right side is definitely tighter than my left. Three, four, and five. All right. So guys, if you have a couch or an elevated surface, let's go over there. And then we're gonna bring our butts really close to the edge of that coffee table or couch. I'm gonna take my right leg, I'm gonna put my right ankle over my left knee and then I'm just going to sit into it. So I'm trying to get this nice little stretch in my shoulder, in the, my triceps, in my glute, <sighs> breathing into it. Now if this is hard on your wrists, you can always go to your forearms. That's not a problem. All right. You might even be able to go a little bit deeper with it that way. <sighs> but just make sure that it feels good. All right. Make sure it doesn't hurt. All right, we're gonna switch it out to the other side. So left ankle over right knee, coming down, breathing into it, getting that really nice stretch going. Whoo, nice, all right. Guys, let's go ahead and go into our downward and upward dogs. So, gonna come into this A-frame position. I'm gonna push my butt up to the ceiling and then I'm gonna just pedal those feet to get a little bit more of a stretch with it. Let's do five foot pedals on each side. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a dive bomber. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna keep that tension in the leg. I'm gonna stretch my upper torso, All right? So I'm not bringing my knees to the ground with this keeping those legs elevated, and then I'm gonna reverse it back up into that downward dog. Getting our legs to warm up, our upper torsos to warm up with this. Give me those foot pedals. And then dive bombing, coming up, reaching up out of the shoulders, getting this really nice long stretch. Whoo, breathing into it. Coming back up and pedal it out. All right, coming back down, reaching up, deep belly breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very good, guys. Awesome. All right, so. We're gonna do a warm up just to make sure that we have the weights that we need um, set up before we go into our first circuit. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing plank rows and we're gonna be doing pistol squats. So I'm gonna grab these weights for my plank rows. I'm gonna come into this high plank so my shoulders are directly over my wrists. My feet are out wide for hip stability. And then I'm gonna pull that dumbbell back to my hip, squeezing my shoulder blades at the top. All right, for a warm up, go ahead, give me eight on each side. Really 
squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. What I'm trying to do is not rotate. Try to keep stable. All right. Now, if you have weights that are too heavy for you to do that, you can always do plank shoulder taps. All right, just keep stable with this. It's very easy to do a body weight modification with that. And then guys, we're gonna go into our pistol squats. So for my pistol squat, I'm gonna come to an elevated surface. Maybe you have a low ottoman, maybe you have a coffee table. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my leg out straight and then I'm really gonna bring this knee forward as I come down, touch my surface and squeeze that leg that has all that weight on it, all right? Bringing that butt back so that I get that knee out even further. Go ahead and get me five on the right. Give me five on the other side. Really making sure to bend the standing leg knee to get as full of a range of motion as possible with it. You might even feel your quad cramp up on your other leg like I am right now. Bonus. All right. So guys, we're going to go ahead and start this circuit. We're going to have four sets. We are going to do eight plank rows and then we're going to do our five pistol squats. Now, say for instance, your weight is super light for your plank rows. You wish you had heavier dumbbells, but you don't. Just take it slower. Take the momentum um, down. I'm sorry, take the tempo down. Make it a lot slower and a lot more controlled. And you will be getting that strength workout with this, all right? So eight on each side, guys, for a plank rows, keeping those hips stable. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nice. Coming over to our elevated surface to do our favorite pistol squats. Coming down and up. Keeping that torso upright, bringing that butt back, knee forward. Keeping really nice stability on that foot. Trying to think of the tripod of that foot. Getting that heel, big toe, little toe. Make firm contact with the ground so you're not rolling. Oops, got a little unstable there for a second. Five, awesome, all right. We're gonna take about 30 to 45 seconds of rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. Ha. All right, got a new program coming up for June for next week. So enjoy these split squats while we have them. All right, guys, let's go back into our plank rows. Really squeeze that shoulder blade at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Right back at those pistol squats. So if you have a, a leg that might feel a little bit weaker than the other leg, start with the weaker leg first, okay? One, two, three, woo, four, and five. All right. Switching it out to the other side. Two, three, four, ha ha. 
and five. Going into round three, as soon as we get about 30 seconds of rest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Guys, please forgive me for saying this, but I missed the rain at this point. It gets pretty hot in the dojo in the afternoon. It's one of the really nice things about doing that 7 a.m. Zoom workout with y'all. It's a lot cooler in the dojo in the morning. All right, guys, we've got about 10 seconds left as we go into our round three. Get into position. Make sure to have those feet out wide to keep those hips level and stable. Keep that core strong. Keep that butt about the same height as your shoulders. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, yay. We get to do more pistol squats. Here we go. My left leg is definitely weaker. So I'm gonna start with that leg. Two, three, four, five. All right, switching it out. One, two, three, four and five yeah all right one more set and then we're going to move on to the next part of our circuit which is going to be a barrel of monkeys let me let me tell you it's going to be super fun uh, i'm just going to build it up now while we get this really good 30 seconds of rest in and then we're going to start at it again in about 10 seconds so we're going into our Last set. Thank you, Coach Josh. Here we go. One, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, boom, eight. Ha! All right. Then our last pistol squats for the day, unless later on you want to do more, which I applaud you. Three, woo, four, ha ha, and five. Yeah. All right. Oh, one. Two, three, boom, four, and five. Holy quads, Batman, feeling that. All right, so for our next circuit, I'm actually gonna grab even a little bit lighter of a weight. So guys, I'm just gonna demo this right now. I want you to get rest as I'm demoing. And when I'm doing my first split squat, I'm gonna make sure that I'm up on that back toe in the back the entire time, come into a 90 degree angle with both legs, stand up, squeeze those glutes at the top. After I've done my 10th one, I'm gonna go into my lat raises. So I'm gonna have some lighter weights come down, go into my lat raise, where my arms are coming out to the side, directly out from the side. Show you what it looks like this way. All right. Now, if you do not have weights that are light enough for this, just do body weight. You will get a good workout from this. In this ISO hold, just raising and lowering those arms, keeping tension in those arms. All right. I'm gonna go into split squat on the other side. When we're in the circuit, we're gonna be doing 10 of these. All right. And then on the 10th one, we're gonna go into an ISO hold 
and then we're going to do a front raise. So I'm going to bring both of these up. Now, if I don't have a weight that's light enough to do that front raise, I can grab one of my dumbbells in this ISO hold and I can do my front raise this way, all right? For this circuit, we're gonna do split squats on one side with lat raises, switch it out, split squat on the other side with front raises. And we're gonna be doing that for three sets, all right? So I'm gonna grab my lighter weights for it this way, all right? Up on that back toe in the back, coming down, squeeze it at the top. 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now I'm holding it. Going into my lat raises. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the what? Coach Josh, you are pure evil, but that's okay. Love you anyway. Switching it out to my split squat on the other side. Down, getting that knee, making sure to stay up on that back toe in the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Now, we're gonna go into our front raise as we're in this ISO hold at the bottom of our split squat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy, had to turn on the fan. It's just way too hot in here. <laughs> getting rest, getting water. Of these before we go into the next circuit. All right. Starting with whichever leg you started with first last time. Starting with my left leg for forward. All right. Coming down into my split squats. Really squeezing that glute at the top, guys. Just locking out both those legs. Staying up on that back toe as I do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is the ISO hold. One, two, lat raises. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, yeah. Feel the burn. All right, getting set up. Coming down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, on the 10th one, hold it down, and front raises. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo! Yeah, feeling alive with those. I always say I feel the most alive when I'm doing split squats, I feel even more hyper meta alive when you add an ISO hold with it and then an arm workout. Who'd have thought? 
All right, guys. We're going to rest. to take a moment to adjust my equipment. My shoelaces were too loose. It's feeling all wobbly. Gonna get some water. Then we're gonna go into our last set. Ha ha. All right. We got this. We're in this together. We can do this. All right. So. Split squat. One, two, three, whoop, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oops, I should have stayed down. Here we go. One two lat raises, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the what? Feeling all the feels with that. Switching it out. I need to really concentrate on staying stable in this front foot. I feel like I'm rolling. So, trying to keep that foot Really good contact with the ground. Split squats, 10. Switch it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it, front raises. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's when you feel like a warrior, when all the pieces and parts are shaking. Woo! Don't have to do those again today. Yeah. All right. Let's get some water, guys. Let's give those. Poor little legs, a little rest. Oh my goodness. Now comes for all the fun. We're gonna be doing rear, I'm sorry, bent rear delt flies. So again, as you rest, I will demo this. Picking up my lighter weights. Again, if you don't have weights that are light enough for you to do this, well, then I want you to just do body weight. Just moving your arms. It'll be fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my feet more narrow, about hip width. I'm gonna bend over, coming into this really nice hinge position where I'm pulling my butt to that back wall and then bringing my arms directly out to the side and down. Arms out to the side and down. Just to shoulder height. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top, guys. So that's our bent rear delt flies. And then we're gonna go into our goblet squat. So maybe you take both of your lighter weights and you do your goblet squat with that, or you can pick up a heavier weight or a kettlebell. All right, widening out those feet, making room for our hips to come down, making sure we hit depth. All right, squeezing those glutes at the top. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 bent rear delt flies, and then we're gonna do 10 goblet squats. Three times through. Who'd have thought? I know. All right. So, let's go ahead and start. Either grab your light weights. Hey guys, if you have a couple cans of like chickpeas or soup, use that if you don't have weights that are light enough. All right. So you can pause this video, run to your kitchen and Try to find something that would work that you have equal weight of. 
bringing that butt back, feeling this in my hamstrings, out to the side and down, into my rear delt flies. I really feel my shoulder blades come together at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to go into my goblet squats. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right. Gonna rest. Not as long as we did during our plank rows and pistol squats, but we're gonna rest maybe 20 to 30 seconds, and then we're going right back after again, okay? So, grabbing my water. Feel the love. All right. Guys, we're going back into our bent rear delt flies. I am staying in those lats. Don't curve that back. Don't lose those arms. Keep those lats right here engaged, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My goblet squats. All right. Trying to stay upright with that chest. Keep the weight at your chest. All right, don't have it down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha ha, ten. Woo! All right, 30 more seconds of rest. All right, guys, we have about 20 seconds left. And then we're going into our last set. Yeah, yeah. All right, going into our bent rear delt flies again. Okay, feet are on the narrow side, hip width apart. Coming over into that really nice hinge position, out to the sides and up. You should see this in your periphery, the dumbbells, so they shouldn't be behind you. They should be coming directly out from your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, going into my goblet squats. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yeah. All right, guys. We will not need our weights for the rest of the circuit now. We're gonna be doing some mountain climbers and some reverse crunches. See you. Again, I want you to rest while I demo. For our mountain climbers, this time we're gonna be doing cross body mountain climbers. So we're gonna be coming into our high plank. My shoulders are directly over my wrists. I'm gonna bring opposite knee to opposite elbow. All right, we're gonna be doing 10 on each side. We're making sure to keep our butt at the same height as our shoulders, all right? So we're not pushing back on this, getting those butts high, keeping our shoulders right over those wrists. And then we're gonna go into our reverse crunch. So for my reverse crunch, I can either put my hands underneath my butt, 
I could hold on to a piece of furniture. I could put my hands here, all right? And then I'm going to touch my toes to the floor. I'm gonna bring my knees to my face. Touch my toes to the floor, knees to face, all right? So you can also do it this way, coming up onto those shoulder blades. We're not coming up onto our neck, all right? The, the less of an angle your knees are at, the harder this is gonna be. So we're not doing hip lifts where we're bringing our hips up into the air. We're just bringing our knees back towards our face. All right. So yeah, if you have shoulder issues, you can put them underneath your butt. Otherwise you can put your arms next to your head. All right. So guys, we're going into it, all right? So this is our last two exercises. We're gonna do three sets of these and we're gonna go after it right now. So the beauty about the uh, crossbody mountain climber is you don't need to do it fast. It's really nice to do it slower to get some really good hip mobility in there, all right, with that crossbody mount, um, with that crossbody action, all right? Coming down, high plank, trying to get that knee to that elbow, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, all right. Now, I have my reverse crunches. Again, I can either put my hands underneath my butt or I can put my hands next to my head. Coming up onto my shoulder blades and back down. Touch those toes. This is four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. With these last few ab exercises, we're not going to have a lot of a lot of uh, weight or rest time in between. So we're going to go right back into our crossbody mountain climbers. Two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, feeling everything heat up in my core. Yeah. All right, guys, going into those reverse crunches, getting those knees to that face, touching down. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. We are going into our last set of mountain climbers and the reverse crunches. Here we go, warriors. Last set. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, boom, all right, here we go, with our little ab party we got going on, touching down, bringing those knees to that face, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guess what we have now? Dessert, I know. Guys, we're gonna go into our homework. So we're gonna go into our Cossack lunge. I want a really, Big, nice 
long step with this to get out as wide as we can, getting this hamstring close to that calf as possible, getting that toe to point up at the ceiling. I keep working on my depth. Coach Josh keeps telling me I'm not going low enough. Okay, three, four, five, six, Yeah. Nine. And 10. Woo, all right. Next, I have my four point hip mobility. So, coming down to the ground in my quadruped position. Bring, coming up on those knees, making sure my knees are about an inch off the ground or so. Swinging that knee out so I can touch my back foot with opposite hand to opposite foot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha, ah, ten. Nice. All right. Now we have our archer planks. So, I'm gonna widen out my feet. I'm going to drag that hand along my chest, follow my hand with my eyes, come back down. Guys, really consider getting those shoulders over those wrists as we do this. It's two. shout out is to coach Josh for coming up with these amazing strength days that we've been doing in the month of May I have I have a uh, big big kudos for him because he's been teaching this workout I've just been doing it over to the side and uh, it's it's a nutty one yeah it's real good second and third warrior shout outs are to Amber and to Cecilia who both bravely cut their bangs and they um, I uh, decided to cut my bangs because of their ferocity with taking their own hair into their own hands so now I can see as opposed to this morning and I had to keep pushing my bangs out of my eyes all right we can all get through this COVID experience together giving each other faith and staying brave throughout. Guys, again, if you haven't read Culture Code and you wanna check out how people are successful working, to, with, working with each other, it's, it's worth it. It's actually just not even about working with each other. It's also just about like how you would apply that relationship to your home life and how you communicate with friends and family effectively, right? And without ego and being vulnerable. It's a really good book. Anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Yay! If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> oh shit! That's an actual wrench! 